Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebraic equation solution from here? From what we have here, I multiply this directly x times x that can be written as x squared, then over also 5 times 5 as 5 squared equals to this side as well 5 times 5, we have 5 squared, then over x times x that's also x squared. The next step here. We cross multiply x squared times x squared, then equals to also here we have 5 squared times 5 squared. Then next step here, this also follows when we have a times a, which is the same thing as a squared. Same thing multiplying, we can write it as x squared or square equals to also here we have 5 squared. Or squared. The next step here, we take the right hand side to the left hand side, and we have x square or square minus 5 squared or squared equals to 0 here. Now this, this follows when we have a square minus b squared, which is the same thing as a plus b into brackets. Then open bracket a minus b. Watch this video to the end. Give it a thumbs up, put your comments, share this video, and also subscribe. That is, yeah, a is standing as x squared and b standing as 5 squared. Then what we have here, follow this that becomes x squared plus 5 squared into brackets. Then open bracket x squared. Minus 5 square close brackets equals to 0 here. As this, here we have two possible cases x square plus 5 square equals to 0, or we have x square minus 5 square equals to 0 here. Then, solving on this side, this follows when we have a square plus b square. Which is the same thing as a plus b i into brackets, then open bracket a minus b i. Now this here, what we have becomes x plus 5 i into brackets, then open bracket x minus 5 i plus bracket equals to 0 here. Now this here, we have two possible cases x plus 5 i equals to 0 or we have x minus 5r equals to 0 here. Then solving on this side, here we have x equals to minus 5r, which is a re solution, a complex solution here. That this here also we have x equals to 5i, which is also a complex solution here. Then solving on this side, also x squared minus 5 squared equals to 0. This also follows when we have a squared minus b squared, which is the same thing as a plus b into brackets, then open bracket a minus b. That is, yeah, what we have followed this and becomes x plus 5 into brackets, then open bracket x minus 5 close brackets equals to. 0 here. Then we have two possible cases here x plus 5 equals to 0, or we have x minus 5 equals to 0 here. That is, solving on this side, we have x equals to minus 5, which is a real solution. Then here also we have x equals to 5, which is also a real solution. At this, we have two real solutions here. In two complex solutions here, making four solutions together. When we write it out, here yeah, we have x, the first value of x, x1, can write that as 5, then x2, that's minus 5, which are the first two free solutions, and we have x3, 5i complex and also x4 
minus 5i, which is also complex, which implies we have four solutions together, two real and two complex. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, I need to substitute the value of x here. When x equals to 5, what we have becomes 5 over 5 times 5 over 5. Is it equals to also here we have 5 over 5 times 5 over 5. And 5 over 5 here, same thing as 1 times also 5 over 5, 1. Is it equals to each side as well? 5 over 5, we have 1 times 5 over 5, 1. That is, yeah, 1 times 1. That's one, which is equals to one times one. That's also one. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. That is x equals to five. Satisfy this given problem. Then also we substitute minus five to the equation, and what we have becomes minus five over five times minus five over five. Is it equals to 5 over minus 5 times 5 over minus 5? Then here, yeah, minus 5 over 5, same thing as minus 1 times. Also, minus 5 over 5 minus 1. Is it equals to 5 over minus 5? Also, minus 1 times minus 1. Minus times minus, that's plus. So this gives us plus 1. Which is also equals to minus times minus, that's also plus one. That is left hand side equals to the right hand side. Then minus five also satisfies this given problem. Also, here we substitute x equals to five r. Then what we have becomes 5i over 5 times 5i over 5 is it equals to 5 over 5i times 5 over 5i that is 5i over 5 we can write that as i times also i is it equals to 5 over 5i we can write that as 1 over i times also 1 over i that is i times i that's the same thing as i square. Is it equals to here? Yeah, 1 times 1, 1 over i times i, i square. And we should note that i square, same thing as minus 1. That is here we have minus 1. Is it equals to here? Yeah, 1 over minus 1. That is here, yeah, this is minus 1. Which is equals to 1 over minus 1 is also minus 1. Left hand side equals to the right hand side therefore we conclude that 5i here satisfies this given problem then also we substitute minus 5i to this given equation that is what we have here becomes minus 5i over 5 times minus 5i over 5 is it equals to 5 over minus 5i times 5 over minus 5i? Then, yeah. Minus 5 over 5, same thing as minus i. When 5 comes each other, then times also here we have minus i. Is it equals to, here yeah, we can write it as 1 over minus i times 1 over minus i. A minus times minus is plus i times i that's i square is it equals to here yeah, one times one one also minus i times minus i that's i square that is i square is minus one is it equals to also one over minus one that is here we have minus one which is equals to on this side as well we have minus one left hand side equals to the right hand side then my plus 5i also satisfies this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these tips. Subscribe for more videos. Turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.